Oh, my name is Rakesh Santrani. I belong from a nuclear family. I live with my mother, my father, my small sister, and my brother. Brother is elder brother. Oh, so uh, we, uh, I actually live in Mumbai, uh, Mumbai in Thane. Uh, speaking about my family, family background, we belong from a middle class family. We do not uh, like have any much uh, like expertise in business or so. My my dad is working in a company as a serviceman, and my mother is a housemaker. Uh, about my qualifications, I, I actually I have completed my uh, BCom, uh, which is non-technical background actually, and currently I am pursuing MCom Part Two. Uh, while pursuing MCOM, I got to know that I have interest in coding. Like from past two three years, I was into HTML and CSS. Uh, as because eleven twelfth, I had took IT, and in in IT, I had HTML and CSS. So I had interest, but I don't know why. What got me off of that track? But uh, while pursuing MCOM, I found that I I have interest in this and. I started learning from YouTube, and I got to know that yeah, this is my passion. I can do something in it. I can see my future in coding. So I was surfing through Instagram, and I saw this uh, Digicool advertisement. I was looking for various uh, <clears throat> various other institutions. Like I have been gone through Intenshala uh, and Edureka also. <clears throat> but I didn't got uh, much positive feedbacks about that. I, I won't be talking about that. Because uh, you know that that I don't I don't want any issues to be created. But yeah, Digicool. The best thing about Digicool that I uh, loved is that we have to pay after we got finished. Because uh, and uh, other companies, other institutions in the segment, they offer placement uh, support, which means they will guide pay placement assistance. There was no such institution which I found on the internet that provided guarantee for the placements. So the, the main reason for me to get into the Digicool was placement guarantee, and I I was uh, yeah I had bit knowledge on HTML and CSS, JavaScript and React was totally new for me, and uh, qualification wise I have been uh, like I have bit non technical background so I thought it would be much difficult for me to crack the interviews and all, but uh, yeah I got placed and I got placed first in my batch. So I am very, 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 very thankful to the Digicool for that. And uh, actually, I had career fluctuations also in between. Uh, I was uh, after 12th, I have uh, attempted for CA also. So I have cleared my first level in CA. Uh, in second level, I got three attempts, and after that, I decided that this is not working, and I dropped out of CA. Uh, actually, uh, my brother he used to code a lot, and the structure that I saw, actually the way he codes, the like I have I have been building websites from like uh, first year, second year, but I used to build it on Wix and WordPress, so it was quite easy for me to build that. And when my I saw my brother, he he used to code, so he is working in an IT company, so uh, he told me that, ha, huh, this is navbar, you just don't copy and paste it, we have to build it. And I saw I saw that code structure and it really hit me. And I, I I wanted to learn. I got that desire that I have to learn this. I want to know how it is being done. And I I was already uh, like my main passion was in to write. I loved computers. So I I used to uh, I wanted actually uh, after this I, I was looking for two options either web development or game development. So I wanted IT anyway from uh, right from twelve. So this was main reason. And in MCOM, when I met my brother, he he stays in Bangalore. He works in a company. So he told me I saw his computer, I saw his files. He had made snake games. So development in that, and I really got crazed about it, and I wanted to know. So the desire which held in me after twelfth, it just came up, and I started figuring out how to how how I should learn about it, how I can get the knowledge on this. And I wanted my future to be in this. Non, uh, I was not that uh, non. Uh, like, I am. I am belonging to non-technical background, but I had quite a bit knowledge on how these things work. Uh, because uh, JavaScript uh, synt syntax was a problem. Uh, logic was not a problem because uh, being a math teacher, it it was that it wasn't that hard for me to get the grip on it. 
react js it, it took me a while to get the grip on it because the functionality is the functional uh, class based components basically html css was uh, like uh, cake walk so it was not a problem because i was learning it from uh, one year before uh, by youtube videos different small small courses so i knew html and css javascript and react that took me a bit back so it, it was a problem that i faced Uh, as such belonging to non technical background i didn't face any such issues of not getting it because i already had a, a knowledge on how to code and what languages are there the main main reason for me choosing digicool was that after payment scheme like we can pay after uh, what we have we have completed our course and uh, we give we get placed because i have seen my bro- brother he he was into two three courses and they provided placement assistance so after completing two courses also he was not getting placed he had knowledge he had immense knowledge but he was not getting placed so that got me a bit fear that uh, that was my main reason that i was thinking about getting entry into it or not because even after spending so much money on courses if we are not able to get placed so it was a bit issue for me because already i had the uh, from uh, i had been from commerce background and it was a big career switch for me so i could not take that risk so when i heard about that uh, we can pay uh, the the fees after we got placed so this was my main point in uh, referring what the digicool institution was actually and afterwards i saw i every i researched on it i even contacted the ex students and i got a very positive feedback and then i joined digicool I didn't do any other activities because uh, we hold, used to have two hours sessions and uh, two hours evening session uh, and uh, one hour doubt sessions. So in the evening session, whatever we have been taught, uh, I used to practice that a lot. And in next day's doubt session, if we want any doubt to be clear, we can clear it. Or else we can get to know what other students have the doubt. So for me particularly, I didn't got any like sense of requirement to. switch to any other things or uh, to learn from any other places because if even if i had any doubt i used to clear it directly from the mentors and i used to practice a lot on what the mentors have suggested and what we have learned in the classes as soon as it gets so so that was my main uh, schedule being in the course and i already knew that uh, this is my one shot so i have to do uh, like it is do or die so i have to work i have to study well so that i get placed because i didn't want it that i keep hanging in between and i did not got placed so yeah i used to do only digital i have not done anything else after the course start yeah actually assignments uh, we we got i guess around 10 to 14 assignments and uh, yeah uh, even uh, uh, coordinators were uh, so helpful like uh, even if we uh, i once said that i require uh, one more day time to complete my assignment and a little the coordinator suggested me that if you want we can keep uh, mentors lecture if you are facing any difficulties so coordinators help was uh, so it was very very helpful for us and assignments were very useful as it gave us uh, immense knowledge on what actually market requires so how we can develop our skills what practice we need to be placed in a company uh, uh, and uh, especially that time importance was very uh, crucial in that because we have to submit each and every assignment on due date and we were awarded points on basis of that so it it was yeah i i guess assignments help help a lot for me mock interviews was one of one of the biggest step that i have took that that i got to be initiated in this because uh, this was actually my first corporate interview uh, before this i have not been into any corporate office so i was very afraid that what we should speak i do not know how to give an interview uh, what we should say how we should uh, act in front of uh, interviewer so for me being a non corporate person i have already always been into like uh, i have never been into office as such so uh, uh, being a teacher i used to teach uh, 
students and that is like a friendly environment but i did not know how to how to act in front of corporates so first mock interview i got the confidence once i got the feedback that yeah i have done well i got the confidence that i know theoretical knowledge i am well in practical plus i know how to talk to others so i got that feedback i got confidence and uh, before we set into live interviews or main interviews it is very important that we get the confidence that we are capable and that uh, confidence was built by that mock interviews and i got to know what all questions can be asked what are the importance uh, even uh, we know something like sometimes even after preparing whole there is some point that we get missing like uh, that it is a small thing that i got to know in mock interviews that what is event clue so we usually do console log every time but we have never seen that event loop which is just present there on the right side so the importance of that i need to know that concept i got to know that from mock interviews so it was very helpful for me and i literally got asked about my uh, about that event loop in my live interviews so i was very helpful for that the mock interviews have helped, have helped me a lot Uh, I was placed within a month. So, a cl- course completion. We started, uh, I guess, second or third week after the course completion. I got placed. Uh, so, first week was about uh, in, uh, like interview preparations, where we were provided with. Uh, we have to. We had to solve fifteen. Uh, I guess, eighteen sums, eighteen lead code sums in a week, as a team, and we were provided one individual project and one group project. I completed that in a week, and second week I was scheduled with uh, the company. I cleared first round, second round, third round in the same week, and third week I got my offer letter. So within three weeks I got placed. Front end development course uh, in Digicool, and uh, technologies that I learned in Digicool was Git, uh, GitHub. HTML, CSS, JavaScript, Bootstrap, React JS, uh, also Redux. So, the, being uh, being from non-technical background, like Git, GitHub, React JS, Redux, uh, JavaScript, these four concepts were very new for me, and I learned everything very very nicely. And the support that was provided, the knowledge that was provided, was immense. And I am really satisfied with it. so i will just like to say that if you are willing to learn if you are willing to be placed in it and if you want an entry into it field and you are not so confident about uh, if you should go or not you are uh, just reluctant or you are just fearing that your money should not be wasted and uh, you should enter into it not so i will just suggest that you all can easily go for digicool because you get an opportunity where you can Pay after you get placed, so there is no such fear that you will be placed or not. Plus the knowledge, the the learning techniques, the like doubt sessions, everything is so perfect that it won't be you won't be feeling anything else that you should be needed to learn the technologies. And uh, I I am very sure that anyone who is willing to get into get entry into an IT field will obviously get be, will be get placed if you guys join the program. Everything. from mentors to systems assignments the layouts of the day how we should proceed in our next day uh, literally we get the schedules of what we have to do how we have to allocate the time in each like how much time we have to code how much time we have to solve problems so yeah it is it was a great journey for me and i wish that in everyone that is joining this family a very great and prosperous life ahead and i know everyone will be placed for sure uh, and i am very thankful for uh, thankful to you the cool team for giving me such an wonderful opportunity and i really did not think that i would be placed so early so this is a uh, quite surprise for me also and i i cannot thank you much for providing me this